Hey friends, welcome to Post to Post. Thanks for joining me today. The last video in reviewing the Reverse Retro 2.0 series. I'm very happy that we're on the last one because I'm just I'm just so happy that the series is just going to be over and I can move on to some other content. But I'm a little bit sad at the same time too because not often do we get 32 new jerseys or 31 of the last series new jerseys in the NHL. So it's a bit of a really unique period in time as far as uh, merchandise goes. So sad that it's over, but happy that it's over at the same time as well. I've got some some good content, I think, planned for you over the next month. So I'm looking forward to move on to that. But we got to talk about this last jersey. The most controversial, maybe, jersey in this entire series, that's the Fisherman jersey. Let's bring it up on the screen and let's discuss. Okay, so the first image here we have on the screen is the initial image that everyone saw. We got the Fisherman slapped right in our face, but we're missing some of the teal. I was a little surprised by that. I think having the Fisherman back is incredible. I love it. The logo is is great. It's been recolorized a little bit. I would have preferred maybe the original kind of colorization, but we got no wave at the bottom of the jersey. Where again, like I said, we're missing some teal. So I, I think this is very good, but it's not perfect. I think this is a missed opportunity just to give us full Fisherman. Like just go, if you're gonna go Fisherman, go full Fisherman. Uh, so I'm I'm very happy. I purchased this jersey. It is one that's coming. It's one that's stitched. You'll notice that I'm not wearing a jersey in this video. I don't have an Islanders jersey. I sold my only uh, Adidas Islanders jersey right before the these 2.0 series came out because I knew that this was coming and I knew I was going to buy it. So that actually was shipped off to Finland, I think it was. Someone bought it in Finland. So I don't have an Islanders jersey, so uh, unfortunately, but I'm still waiting for this to come in. And when it does, I will uh, I'll obviously be wearing it in Islanders videos. Let's move on to the next image here, which is I think just a closer up of the logo, maybe. Actually, that's not a good image. I'm going to skip that one. Let's go on to this one. There we go. This is the closer up image of the jersey, or the logo, rather. And it's it looks, it looks really good. I love the fact that you can see the intricacies of the net within the logo. I think that's really cool. It's, this, this is one of those logos that... I, I want to like I want to get the jersey obviously because I want the jersey but I want to get it or I want it to arrive because of the logo I want to see it in person I want to feel the letters in the bevel with my finger to see how much they're actually raised out to feel a little bit of the net in the background it's one of those logos that is so intricate that you just kind of want to you know you want to look around at if it's a I don't know what's a good example like a St. Louis Blues logo I guess nice logo but it's a pretty basic. Uh, you know, just like you playing it safe kind of logo where this is, and there's a lot of intricacies here and stuff. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting this in person. I think that this close up looks really good. It makes me even more excited to get it. Uh, and moving on to the next image, we can get a bit of the uniform here. We got helmet, we got gloves, we got pants. First thing I noticed, the pants are the wrong shade. They're a lighter blue, so that doesn't match, which is disappointing. The gloves are definitely closer. I love the fact that the gloves have orange in it. And orange in them and then the uh, the helmet here looks to be uh, relatively close depending on the lighting a bunch of the images that I looked at sometimes it looked a bit, bit uh, lighter sometimes it looked a bit darker and this one it looks darker so we went to the next image here and uh, the pants are very clearly the wrong shade here so disappointing again there but the striping on the socks looks really good uh, I think the jersey in general looks good from the side except for the fact that let's move on to the next image the stripe along the side doesn't really match up and it's not really something that I even thought about or even considered. Um, I don't own the original Fisherman jersey, so I've never seen the side of a Fisherman jersey. I've never seen the back. If I do, I don't really remember it. But I didn't realize that the striping of the, like the waviness, even though we don't get it truly here, it doesn't match up. And I don't know if it this, that's just on this jersey or if it's on the original Fisherman jersey, I'm not sure. But I don't like that. I wish that it kind of match, matched up. I wish that the line in the back or the striping kind of came up and met it there. It's even this different thickness. So a, a little odd, I guess. I'm curious to see that in person as well. But uh, from this angle, it looks, uh, looks a little strange. Let's move on to the next image. And it's a really good shot of the uniform itself. Typically, I don't like rounded shoulders like that. But because of the way that the shoulder is done, that it's the same color as the jersey, and the actual shoulder outline is just made with the stripe itself and not a different colorization here in the shoulder. I, I like it a lot more. I, th I have no issues with the shoulders coming down that far on the sides and then being rounded. I think it works. It matches in with the kind of like flowiness of the striping along the bottom. So I'm I'm definitely okay there. I want to skip on to the last image here, which just shows the goalie, just shows the helmet. I just wanted to, to point that out. I think that looks pretty good. Let's go back to the original, I guess, uh, photo that we looked at. And I'll leave it there on screen. So Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I gave it a 9 out of 10 with was my uh, original rating. I'm going to stick right there at uh, 9 out of 10. A couple of little things that I was disappointed about. A couple of things that I would change. But I can't give 
the fisherman any less than nine out of ten because they brought it back and I love it. So um, very happy that, that 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 this was brought back finally. It's the most like controversial and logical decision at the same time. So it's a bit of confusing one. I don't think some of the Islanders fans are very happy about this. But if you're a jersey collector, if you're someone who appreciates a bit of brand riskiness, then you'll you'll definitely like this jersey for sure. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Were you happy with the design that they went with, or do you feel kind of like me, like there is better fisherman uh, styles, designs, and opportunities, but this is still kind of good. And or do you completely disagree and you hate this and you want it to die and, and, and burn forever? Uh, if there is no wrong opinion, let me know down below. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. And coming up on the channel, just to even further wrap up the reverse retros, is going to be obviously the ranking of all the reverse retros, which I have not released yet. And then also uh, some unboxings. The jerseys are still coming in. There's still, I think, eight to unbox, uh, all stitched, hand stitched. So they'll be coming on the on, on you know shipping in over the next two months. So I'll be unboxing those, of course, and doing uh, reviews on the physical jersey itself. And then there's uh, maybe some equipment uh, rankings and and other concepts that people have done as well. So stay tuned on the channel for all that stuff. I appreciate you. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll talk to you very soon. Adios.